Hello, and welcome to another installment of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host and guide, Chris13. Last episode, we managed to pick ourselves up our first set of espers. Yeah. Now, you know how I said I'd equip myself up and we'd continue on to Jadur in this episode? Well, I just so happened to do that. You'll notice everyone now has their equipment. But what I was actually talking about was giving everyone their... what'd they call it in this game? Whatever the magicite was. Oh, Magirock. The Magic Rock. I gave everyone a Magic Rock so that they can hold it and cherish it and love it forever. But what collecting those do is if you go to your beasts now, or your espers, or whatever it's called, you'll notice we've got four. We've got Rama, Kieran, Siren, and Kate Sith. The four that we picked up. And... You'll notice I gave Kate Sith to Celeste. Alright, so what it does is if you select it, you can see, um... It's got a list of spells. Confuse, Kappa, Levitate, and at the bottom, at level up, Magic plus one. What this does is you equip the Esper on a character, and then in battle, they're allowed to summon that Esper for large amounts of MP. It doesn't actually say, but it's probably something up like 40, 50. That's usually what it is. I can show that when I get into battle. Anyways, after battle, you gain magic points, like you gain experience points, but we haven't seen the magic points yet because we haven't had any use for them. Now, after every battle, we will be gaining magic points. Weak enemies give you one, stronger enemies will give you a larger amount, more enemies, you know, whatever. So, say I gained... I got into a fight and I gained one magic point. That means that Confuse will go up 7% to having learnt it, and Levitate will go up 2 Kappa would go up by 5, so if I got like, you know, 2 magic points, it would go up by 10, and so on and so forth, until it reaches 100. Once it reaches 100, that character knows the spell and can cast it whenever they want, regardless of whether they're equipped with the Esper or not. Now, don't get me wrong, even if you're equipped with the Esper, and you don't know the magic, you still can't cast it. You have to get it up to 100% before you can cast it. You just don't have to have the Esper equipped. Um, as you notice, Kappa is already at 100% because it was one of the magics that Celeste learns on her own. Now, this down here, Kate Sith, that level gives you plus one magic at level up. Siren will give you HP plus 10%. Kirin doesn't give you anything. And Rama gives you vitality. When characters level up, when characters level up, their stat gains will be the same every level. Well, sorry, not the same every level, but that character's like, every time they go from that level. So, say when Celeste goes from 13 to 14, she gains 1 strength, 3 magic, and that's it. Well, other than HP and MP. That means that every time she goes from 13 to 14, no matter what you've done up to that point, she will always gain 1 strength and 2 magic. And then from 14 to 15, it'll be the same but it'll be like whatever stats are at that level, so on and so forth. Equipping the Espers, or Phantom Beasts, allows you to give them an extra stat point when they level up. So now, instead of gaining, say it was one strength and two magic, she will gain one strength and three magic, as long as she's equipped with Kate Sith, when she gains her level. Uh, the HP one, that one throws a lot of players off, because it says at level up HP, HP 10%. So you think, okay, so she has 320, 343 HP. 
So when she levels up, she'll gain whatever she gains. So let's say that was 10. So it's, she'll gain 10 HP plus 10%. So you'll think, oh, that's actually pretty good, because she'll be gaining like 34 life when she levels up. No. No, no, no. That is wrong. What happens is when you're equipped with the level up HP plus whatever percent, or even the MP plus whatever percent, it means you gain a percentage on top of whatever you would gain that level. So say she would gain 10 HP, now she'll gain 11 instead, because she'll gain 10% of the 10, which is 1, an extra 1. And so anything from 10 to 19, I don't think it rounds up. So she will only be gaining one extra HP every level. If, say, it's a level where she learn gains 20 HP, then she will gain 22 instead, because she'll get the 10% uh, of 20, which is 2. So you get 2 added on to 20. Alright, so it's, it's, it's still good, but not as good as you would think at first glance. Um, and because, like I said, stat gains are set every level, means certain levels you're going to want this HP plus 10% more than at other levels, if, say, you wanted to get everyone up to, like, you know, the max life or the max magic. And that doesn't come into effect until later in the game, when you're at much higher levels. I think it's around 50. I think characters gain the most HP per level around 50. I might be wrong, it might be like 60 or something like that, but I, it, it's somewhere around there where they gain actually the most HP per level. So that's when you'll want to use this one at your level ups. But for now, we've got Celeste with Kate Sith, because, sure, those magic spells aren't that great, and I'm probably not even going to be using them, but you look, 34 experience to the next level. So, we can use that plus one magic on Celeste to make her stronger. And as soon as she gains that level, I'll probably switch off her, like, Kieran or something. I don't even know who has Kieran right now. Yeah, Gao has Kieran, and he really doesn't need anything, but... Because I've got the extra one, there's no point in not giving it to him, so I've dropped it on him just because. Right? There's nothing wrong with having characters know, like, cure, the cure spells, because then outside of battle, it'd be like having a large stash of potions. Say their magic absolutely sucks, and you're never gonna use it in battle because where Celeste might cure, like, 500 HP with one cure, and S Gao might only cure, like, 50, because his magic is that much worse. Like, it's it's not. I'm just using this as an example. When you're outside a battle, you just go to Gao, go to his magic, cast a bunch of cures, and you don't really care that you're wasting your MP, because, like I said, you're not going to be using it in the battle. But, that's about it. No one else is close to gaining a level, so I don't really need to worry about which one they're equipped with, and what stat upgrade they're getting. And really, right now, I've got the choice of magic, HP, or vitality. And... That's not really that great. The only person worth worrying about is Celeste, for magic. Now, on another note, I'm not actually going to be metagaming that much. Like, I'm not going to be counting experience gains and... That type of stuff just for the sake of giving them the best stats. I am, however, if I notice they're close to gaining a level, of course I'm going to try and, you know, give them the better stat. And because I know Celeste right now is so close, I'm just going to have her with the magic before I switch it off. Um... Another thing worth mentioning, those two enemies we just killed, the, uh, 
whatever they're called, the Iron Knuckles, the the guys with the Jason masks. Um, you that's why I wasn't. Those are the guys that um, what's his face, Dotaluma would summon if you let the battle go on too long. He will summon two of those guys to come out and help him, which is why I wasn't too worried about not seeing him in that battle, because we can fight them there. And it's not like the Dadaluma fight will actually appear on the Velt, so now we've seen them. Now we're happy. Oh, um, to unequip an Esper, or Phantom Beast, you just select any empty slot, and that'll unequip it. To equip it, you have to select it and then click it again. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people don't seem to be able to notice how to do that. But anyways, let's give Kate Sith to Gau, because no one else really needs it. And we'll get you learning some better curing magic. Sounds good. And just so that we can see Kate Sith, we'll notice, because we got two magic points at the end of that last battle... Um, her Confuse is at 14% learnt, her Levitate is at 4% learnt, so still got a while for Levitate. Confuse you can learn pretty fast, but once again, it's not like you ever use it. And if you actually go into her magic, you will see that they're grayed out because she started learning them, but she doesn't know them yet, so you can also see how soon she'll be able to learn it, and if you've been jumping from Esper to Esper, you can see where she is, where she's at in all her current magic. Ooh, leg. Alright, let's get into another battle so that we can show off actually summoning an Esper. Come on. Where is a monster? Yeah, there we are. Oh, I guess they call them motor drives. Alright, Locke, who do you have? Siren? Oh, 16. That's not too bad. Alright, let's summon her. Lunatic Voice. Oh, and the Espers will always use the same attack every time you summon them. It's specialized to each Esper. Alright, I have no idea what that did. Uh, Gau Kate Sith. Nope. You, Kieran. Kieran, I know what that one does. That gives regen to your entire party. And then let's finish him off. Rama will blast him with a lightning elemental attack. And you notice we try and go back. We can't go up again. You can only summon the espers once per battle. So, if you're going to use them, use them. I'm not saying don't. I think an excessive amount of MP and not really worth it for a lot of them, but honestly, it's not like you can abuse them and cast them over and over again, but at the same time, like I said, not too powerful. Oh right, I already made Gau rage. Never mind. Ha ha ha. I was trying to get to Gau to show off his Esper now that he wasn't asleep, but I can't really do that when I put him into a rage. Yeah, two more magic points. Alright, I think that's all for Espers that we can talk about for now. We will find more later. You're gonna want to keep your eye out for them, because some of them can be a bit hidden. Alright, we are back at Jadur. And you know what? With that one token end of the video fight, that must mean we've reached it. The end of the video, that is. Um, I know I didn't really get anywhere in this one, but I spent a lot of time explaining the espers and how they work and how you can kind of use them to your advantage. Um, next time we'll find out where we have to go next, where we can maybe board a boat to get to the southern continent. Next time, guys. See ya.